Hi, I'm Matt from hockeyreviews.ca, and this is the Factory Mad Modification and Design Knee Pad. So these are kind of famous if you're in like the niche goalie market world for being some of the tankiest knee pads ever and also very expensive. I got a chance to use these, huge thanks to Dennis. He has a demo program. I should say Factory Mad has a demo program where you can test their pads, which I've done, and I've done a review on the pads as well. But this is specifically for the knee pads because like I mentioned, these are kind of renowned in the niche goalie community or the people who are like really into equipment. And he sent them to test out and I wanna give some thoughts on these and talk about them, especially because they are pricier than what most retail options or like any retail options are. But before we get into all that, if you wanna help support the channel and you're buying hockey equipment anyways, please check out the links if you're in Canada to Hockey Supremacy. If you're in the US to Pure Hockey in the description, Clicking those links, making a purchase, give me a kickback. So it helps support the channel so I keep doing videos and making more content like this one. Otherwise, check out Patreon, buy me a coffee. Everything through there comes right back into the channel and would be greatly appreciated. So the question that always comes up all the time is what knee guards to buy. And there's a ton of suggestions out there and people talking about stuff. And honestly, majority of the suggestions are really bad, especially on Facebook forums and everything. But I digress. Now, I have been using these Bauer Vapor 1X knee pads forever. You can see... They're coming out here. These are, I've been using these since I had the 1X set, which is, they're now on Hyperlite. So that's six years, I believe. And it may be seven now, because Hyperlite's been out for a year. So these have been old. These are really old. These have been used a lot. I've used them that long. Obviously they're wearing out. You can see the foams coming out and stuff like that. But these are basically, if you're playing like any competent hockey whatsoever, and I'm not obviously a pro or anything, but I play against guys who can actually shoot. You need a cap. You need a cap in uh, front of your knee pad. That's just how it is. This one is decent, and I've reviewed this over and over again and talked about this over and over again. Bauer still sells these as they're called the Elites. This is basically my bar. They're not the best at everything. They're solid at enough and basically everything, but they're not the best. And they're protective enough, where a lot of other ones that like might be more comfortable aren't protective enough. These ones are good enough. I also like how they have the strap here and they came with a garter belt. So you can hold them up. But this is my baseline. These are an easy recommendation. They were when they came out like 100 bucks Canadian. They're all going up in price. These are very different in all together. This is basically a, it's kind of a two piece because it has this and here where this one is interesting. It's, it's a, it's like a two piece as well because it has these two pieces obviously here. But this, the idea behind them and everything is very different than what obviously something like this is. But as you can see with how much is here, they're also clearly made for protection. And especially with their pads, with the proto pads, where the idea is you stop pucks with your knees more than the thigh rise, this is very important. Now we'll kind of open this up and to go over what's kind of in this and like what you can swap out and stuff like that. So you have this outer shell right here, which I think is just a hard foam or there's a piece of plastic underneath. There's a softer foam on top, as you can see. And then I believe there's a piece of plastic right under there and then there is another layer on the inside as you can see right here and that layer does come out so there is velcro so you can take that layer out and that is kind of just a foam piece in there and this is a pretty soft foam purely for cushioning and you do have a little bit of bend there this is a harder foam and this is pretty soft again a cushioning style foam take it out and you have that gap there but i would leave it in because why not it's not really taking up any like it's not making this bulkier because the shape of that is still there. So it does a job. And then in here you have a thinner layer of foam right here with the liner. Just that's basically all it is right there. So nothing crazy here. These a little bit of padding here, but this is doing the protection, like the hard shot. And then this one in here is going to do the padding piece. So you can see on these how they have this skate lace tie and it's kind of to do a little loop here. No, normally this is done a bit differently. They do have this garter belt that I believe they come with. Uh, this was in my, the box to demo everything with, and it does have these little loops here. So the idea here is you would just tie into this loop from both of these anchor points and it would hold it up. But for me, I use the garter belt that came with my Bauer knee pads because it also hold, has like socks, like a garter belt for socks to hold up. So I just made a loop like this and put the Velcro strap kind of around there so it was held up like this instead of going this route, but that is kind of an option how you do it. And I'm sure if you asked, I'm sure he would put a loop there if you really want to, but this works perfectly fine and did the job 
honestly perfectly so there's no real issues there on the inside of this you can see just the i don't know if what exactly this is it is a soft i don't think it's a nylon but it's a soft something in there and it just feels fine nothing crazy and you do have a little foam piece for extra padding that goes on the inside of your leg so if this this one would go on my left leg so you get a little more padding there and it does feel pretty nice and we get to this part right here you can see it is just stitched or not stitch it is just tied in with a piece of nylon cord or just cord in here through these two pieces of gen pro and that's one thing i really like about this and basically all the dentist stuff and a lot of like the smaller companies they use gen pro here and materials like that instead of just like nylons because or like ch cheaper material this gen pro isn't necessarily cheap and they could use something cheaper but it does hold up pretty well so i like them using that there it's pretty nice I have a black gnash on here for the landing zone and you this on velcro so you could wash it if you wanted to and it also has a little piece of padding right here on the front of your knee as well and this velcros off as well if you want it to and we put that in right there and as you can see how this knee design works it does have this three piece right here and i don't know if this is a plastic but it's a very dense foam if it's not plastic and then you have a foam kind of on the inside as well but that top layer does definitely feel like either plastic or an extremely dense foam and you have the just line this up a bit better a bit more cushioning with this nylon or like nash material right here and it's pretty nice overall and if we were putting this on my knee how this would look basically it would just be straight up like this and you can see how it kind of sits around so it does give you a little bit protection on here and down here as well from landing and then the top piece is just like that pretty straightforward pretty easy pretty like nothing crazy going on here now the important part of this knee pad is honestly protection because that's kind of the big thing of it so the only way for me to really test this is to shoot pucks at it now dennis on his instagram on the factory mad instagram has videos of him hitting this with a hammer that's a fine test but i want to go a little more in depth with that because I've hit stuff with hammers and sticks and I find a, nothing really works unless you use a puck. I figured we have a puck machine, we're gonna use it, we're gonna do a real test on knee guards, get actual feedback from me after getting hit with a puck and it's really weird feeling sticking your knees directly in front of pucks without pads normally. Obviously you don't try to make those saves but just sticking these out is it's kind of nerve wracking. And but anyways, we were doing this test. It was at 55 miles an hour around there it's not the puck machine's not perfect but it's a general idea of pretty close around 55 miles an hour on this shot so it's not the hardest shot in the world but it's not the softest shot in the world The one thing I will say, it is hard to get hit directly on your knee when you're playing. I have got hit on my knee many times with these, but usually it's a tip or deflection or something bounces because you're like mid slide and your pads generally get in the way if that arise, but and then like a thing will tip and hit it. Getting hit directly on straight on a shot like this is a whole different feeling. And I'm gonna be frank, it hurts. The first one I got it with is right here and you can actually see the mark on it right here a little bit and kind of like up here that hurt a lot and it left a mark which i'll overlay right now and that was after i played a game that night too so that wasn't even right away that was after a little bit and this knee pad is honestly a pretty good retail knee pad it's pretty solid and the reason i talk about the cap and why this one is better than for like the supreme for example is because there is this composite it's a curved composite it's basically a plastic cap and underneath it has a full straight padding piece underneath so you have this piece you have this piece and there's no gaps in padding like there's a seam right here but it there's no gap in padding you like there's nothing there you'll always hit composite and then something behind it whereas the supreme because it's a three-piece design there's a gap there and you can get composite straight on your knee and that's not good so this one is a decent overall knee pad for that not the most protective on the market but decent puck mark was there and it hurt like it hurt a lot it was very uncomfortable 
it wasn't nice. Did it protect my knee? Absolutely. I was able to move afterwards. While it stung when it got hit, I got up, walked around fine, didn't feel it when moving and everything, so it did shop, you just felt the impact. That isn't the same to say when I wore the Supremes. In the past, I got hit directly on, and it. I was honestly limping for a few days from a shot that was a lot less hard than what this one face in this video. Moving on to these ones, they honestly just do such a much better job than this. Yes, I felt the shots when it was directly to these. You're gonna feel it. Even with the thicker padding on here and this plastic wrap that's not like directly around, it does have that shape to it. So it hits, it's gonna disperse it that way, but it also is creating a gap between your like actual knee and here and with the foam padding on the inside, you still feel it. It's still uncomfortable, but it didn't feel anything like that. Like this one, I'm like, oh, I knew exactly where it hit. And it was fine just move on definitely on a whole different level than what this is and honestly you kind of expect it especially for the price and because let's be real dennis isn't like hitting markets and like market points and price points and needing margins like obviously they need to make a profit but whenever companies like this do things it's all about margins for store and what they can sell stuff for and profits this is obviously to make money but at the same time there's a lot of love that goes into stuff like this and this knee pad is honestly just on that one next higher level and higher tier. And landing on this as well is more cushioned than what was on this, but it's not crazy or anything. It's not like the Warrior Soft or anything like that. It is more substantial than the Warrior because of like the materials in here, but it's not quite as soft as like the Warrior Pesjao that I wore in the past. Compared to this one, it does definitely feel better landing on it though. This one is also very old, but the foams in here were never really good. You're basically landing on this which is not a great foam. And there is a probably a little bit foam in here, but it's not great either. These are definitely just slightly more, like they're more dense, but they're just slightly higher quality feeling where this one almost feels like it's so dense, it's not nice. This one is definitely, definitely higher quality and it feels better in that sense. Would I wear these and am I gonna buy a pair of these to wear? Unfortunately for Dennis, no, because this is just too bulky for me on my legs. And you can see it when you do like a side-by-side -side on the pads from the testing of this and how much bigger it feels. In my pants, it feels way bigger and it's bulkier. The pants aren't really my problem though. My problem is for knee blocks specifically. And that is specifically because of how I like to strap my pads. Now, if you have a pad like this with no outer wing, which, the demo set of the factory map pads I had did, then this becomes less of a problem because when you're in there, obviously this would be the other round, other way around, but we're going to just demonstrate it here. When it's in there, it doesn't have that outer wing to really get in the way as much. So it doesn't move, like it doesn't become as big as of an issue. But for me, because I don't like to strap my pads on here, I like to strap my pads over here. I usually use a wing. That would cause more of an issue because I don't have quite as open knee channel. The other thing is when you have a bigger pad and so this piece would be on the inside over here too. It also pushes your the pad kind of out a little bit in your stance. So instead, if you're wearing no knee pad, this is right up tight to your knee. When you are wearing a knee pad, and I've noticed this a lot when wearing knee pads, and one of the reasons why I don't have the pass out knee pads anymore is this would push kind of out here and it kind of pushes them. So normally if your pads are like this, they can be like this a little bit more, just hanging off your knee a little bit. For the, my use of the factory mad pads, they were totally fine and it worked exactly as, as intended and it had no issue whatsoever. Every other pad I own, but my uh, these and my hyperlights, because these are both too small for me, so I have to pull them up, hence the no flap. I need a smaller knee pad like this, as lower profile knee pad, so it doesn't get in the way as much and so it kind of doesn't move things around. And like I said, definitely could feel the width of this compared to this in my pants especially and the other thing to notice too is this part sits under your pants so this part would really be the only part that sits kind of in the pants but because of how this design is you can see how when you're in kind of that down position a lot more of this is going to be in your pants than what this is so again a little bit more bulk than i would want and that i need and so unfortunately for that case i won't be buying these in the future but I can kind of appreciate what they are and the point of them. Now, if I were going to make any suggestions on these, just in general, things I would perhaps like to, to change, and I'm sure Dennis is amazing for customization on his pads and everything, so I'm sure he would be able to incorporate this very, very easily. But I'm gonna say it anyway, just because it wouldn't be a hockey reviews review without me nitpicking stuff and saying things could be slightly better. Uh, the biggest nitpick ever is these straps. Please put a little tab on them kind of like this, it has destroyed my fingers. 
my fingers have been ripping pulling off this stuff all the time, especially when it's tight and I'm kind of digging in there and my skin basically digs and it gets caught up on this and it starts ripping off my skin. So please, it's a super small thing, I know, but if you could please put like a little tab of nylon or something like that, it would be so much easier to just pull off and so much nicer. And like this one doesn't have it, which is annoying, but like these ones you can see so much nicer and easier to pull off and it would save my fingers and I would greatly appreciate that. One thing I will say, and I, while I had no issues with landing on these, especially with the factory mad pads because the knee block is so soft on those and it's so cushioned, I would like to see this little piece of foam padding kind of extended onto the inner side of this. So when you are going down, and so if you're sitting like this, right, and you go down, it will kind of be on just where you land. So you get a little bit more cushioning there. That would be just a little bit nicer feeling. And it might save your knees in the long run, especially if you do like multiple games or really long sessions of skating and dropping. It would be, that's a little nice thing. Again, I'm sure they can add this, just little small personal preference things. Now I did feel shots through this when I got hit and it wasn't like as I said, painful. It's just, you noticed it and it stung a little bit, but way less than what the one X was. I think if you wanted to get rid of that, this, this being maybe double thickness or maybe a little more padding like this piece in there would probably get rid of that totally and make them feel even more comfortable. And I don't think it would really change bulk all that much because the shell is still the same shape. So I don't think you would really have an issue there. Now for price, I asked Dennis about pricing and his response was to please reach out to him in regards to pricing. So I will say this, I think the new ones of these are about $100 US. This is more than double that. I'll say that it's, they're expensive. They're, they're expensive, but they also are giving you just honestly a better knee pad. They are bulkier, but they are much better. The other thing you get too is you get Made in America. You get someone who's very, very passionate about his products and passionate about the stuff he's making. I'm sure you can ask for changes and stuff like that. And Dennis is great to talk to. I haven't worked with him in terms of building gear, but he's amazing to talk to and I'm sure excellent to work with as well. This thing I can definitely see lasting longer with than what this is. Obviously, you can see my pieces coming out and while these have lasted me, a while i'm also not a goalie who's practicing every night i play games quite often and like five times a week but that's still not practicing every night where kids growing and stuff like that with this stuff a lot of this is interchangeable so if something like that happened you can get or like these broke down and you had to or tore you could get a new one replaced really easily and if you needed to change some things they can do that as well this part sews out so you can always modify and put a different replacement piece on there, right? You definitely get a knee pad that you can either modify or just keep using over and over. So it's something that is definitely more expensive, but you get, a, in my opinion, a lot more there. You gotta have to kind of figure out where you want to go for pricing on stuff. If people buy like custom pads with like $2,500 Canadian with crazy graphics and stuff, a couple hundred extra dollars will like save your knees and it's pretty important. And you don't have to buy a new one of these every time you buy pads. You just have to justify and find out what your price range is. Unfortunately for me, they're just slightly too bulky though, so I'm going to have to stick with my old ones here, but I do like them a lot and I enjoyed my time using them and especially testing. I'll happily take my knee in front of a puck with this over these any day of the week. For me, it's all about pat protection, so that's a big praise right there. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully this was helpful. If you wanna check these out, check out the link to Dennis's website and Instagram in my description. If you do buy anything factory mad or reach out to him because of this video or any of my content, please let him know, it would be greatly appreciated. Otherwise, if you're buying hockey equipment that isn't factory mad and you wanna support the channel, check out the links in the description to Hockey Supremacy in Canada and Pure Hockey if you're in the United States, clicking those links, making a purchase, gives me a kickback, helps support the channel so I can keep doing more reviews like this and making more content. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and all that. If you want to support the channel more, check out Patreon, buy me a coffee in the description, it'd be greatly appreciated. And thank you very much for watching and take it easy. You're watching hockeyreviews.ca.